What goes great with bourbon, other than ice in a glass? Peaches and spice. And today is a big canning day in uh, the Urban Domestic Diva kitchen. My husband is helping and we are canning, canning, canning. And today we are doing uh, boozy peaches with spice. So come join me in the kitchen, we'll get canning. Boozy peaches, you need peaches. About six pounds, we're a little over. Um, these are from my dad's yard and some Michigan peaches from our trip. So if you're over, that's good because you have to pit them anyway and that'll take you down to around six pounds. All right, so six pounds, you need to cut them in half. So roll it around your knife, twist, pop one side in. Track your knife around the pit, like so. Then you're going to tuck your knife under and pop it out. Ta-da! It's not that hard, just be careful. We're going to do this with all six pounds. Don't worry about the skin yet, we're going to do that next. We've been busy pitting. Those are all our lovely peaches. Now, next, you want to get a cold water bath going. So. Get a nice big bowl. It's almost kind of double what you got there with water and a lot of ice cubes. Cold water, ice cubes, and what we're going to do is we're going to take juice of one lemon and put it in here. This is going to, and you're going to mix this up. lightly. Put that lemon juice in there. Lemon juice is going to keep the peaches from browning and the ice cold water is going to shock the peaches from the hot from blanching and it's going to help us take all the skins off. In the rolling boil we're going to work in batches. Put your peaches in. Get a good batch going. Time, 60 seconds. Take them out, drain them as you go, and shock them into that cold water bath we had ready with the lemon juice. Okay, so with these peaches, you can see the skin's just easily going to come right off. And discard the skin. Do that with all the peaches, and uh, then we'll cut them and get them in the jars. Finishing up our peaches and getting some syrup going. Three cups of water, one and a half cups of sugar. And get that dissolved and heated up. While this is simmering, we can finish up the peaches. We need to sterilize our jars five minutes in a hot water bath. Make sure they're fully immersed and covered. We're sterilizing lids as well as jars. Use your tongs, get them filled up, and them on down in there. So after five minutes, take the jars out, let the water Lids. evaporate. Lids, sealed tops. For more extensive canning how to go to my uh, tomato apple pear chutney video. But basically, you want to get all the water off of this stuff, especially that top sealed piece. Here, you can leave these halved. We're going to actually cut them into quarters and get them inside your sterilized jars. You want to overlap them and layer them as tight as you can get. You might need a skewer of some sort to kind of, you know, tuck things in, make sure they're nice and tight. Uh -oh. 
Uh, maybe it's only going to be a couple or three. Let's see. So we filled our jars, we have all this wonderful juice, so we're going to evenly distribute the peach juice among the jars. And then we're going to get some star anise. And we're going to put that in, as well as some vanilla bean. We put one star anise per jar. Then we cut a vanilla bean into like two inch pieces. We're going to clap one in each. Next comes our syrup. You're rolling? Yep, I'm rolling. So fill your syrup, but leave room for your bourbon. We're going to put about a quarter cup to maybe, maybe a, touch more. a little more. Depends how boozy you want to be. We like a little boozy. So you're just filling it. Quarter cup, maybe more like a half cup. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to fill it all the way. We'll see. So we've reserved some sugar water. I think we're going to do. Just shy of a half. Just shy of a half of bourbon in each. Smells good. All those smells, the vanilla and the star anise coming up. The sweetness of the peaches. Very nice. One got a little full, huh? Well, because I had more uh, sugar water in there. Okay. <clears throat> Top off everything to... With more! <laughs> no. <laughs> Top off... Mm, that smells great. Okay, oh, yeah. just top off sugar water. Your syrup. So we're using that little gadget. It looks like a flat green spatula that comes with a canning kit. From, all the bubbles out. Yeah, it helps get all the bubbles out. So just see him coming up? Yeah, you see him coming up. See him? Do we want to top off? Yeah. Before you do anything, Clean your rim. You don't want food. It'll cause bacteria to grow and you'll lose your seal and not, it's just not good. So it's just a slightly damp paper towel. So seal things up and we'll get them ready for a hot water bath. Put your jars in a wire basket, got a rolling boil, in they go. 25 minutes these need to process for. So that's a long time. Time it. Let her rip. We just pulled out our peaches. You'll see we are one down. We lost one. What did we learn? Don't use a recycled jar from the store, which was what we lost. Um, the bottom blew out and we lost our peaches. But these two from Ball are looking great. And the seals look like they look pretty good. So thanks for joining us in the kitchen, making boozy spiced peaches with me and my husband. Happy canning.